Okay, part four. Two methods of dealing with precision and recall. Building block strategy and the successive facet strategy. So as we said in the previous part, uh, recall and precision tend to be inversely related, which means you can't get one and the other uh, at the same time. So what a searcher will typically do is decide to start in one direction and then inch towards the other. Uh, there is a method uh, for starting with high precision, which we call the pearl growing approach, which I'll show you at another time. But um, what I'm going to show you are two procedures which start with the idea that you start off getting as much as you can, and then with that set of documents, you start winnowing, winnowing it out to get uh, to increase your precision. So you start with high recall and then you slide gently down that slope towards high precision as well. The building block blocks approach is as follows. You take what the person wants to know about, you take what you want to know, and you isolate the different concepts or what we like to call facets of the topic that you wish to search. And then you create a series of terms for each concept. For all of those, con for, for um, each concept, you combine all of the terms together with or, so that you've got a massive set of all of the documents which uh, relate to one concept using the different terms that you that you've selected. Having then a set for each of these concepts, you combine the sets together using and, or, or not. So here's an example. I want to find uh, documents on children with genetic disorders. So I set up what we call a concept map, which looks a bit like this. Now, this is a very simple one. Um, I'm not using any truncation or anything, any of the other things, which we'll talk about later. But here's the basic idea. So I have a concept called children. And I ask myself, OK, what other word might be used in terms of children? Um, child. Okay, and you can get more ambitious. You can say kid, infant, um, baby, whatever. So, but I'll, I'll for if simplicity's sake, I'll leave it here. So we've got child, children, and child to express this one concept. The second concept is genetic, and I say to myself, okay, well, we could also use the word gene, or we could use the word genes. And for disorders, I say, okay, well, we might use the singular term, which is disorder. As you can see, I'm not being very uh, energetic with this concept map. You could be much more ambitious if you wanted to be. The building blocks approach is that you take concept one and you take all of your terms and combine them using or. So that gives me all of the documents that discuss children or child, uh, all of the documents that discuss genetic or gene or genes, and all of the documents that discuss um, uh, disorder or disorders. And then when you have those three sets, you combine them together using whatever Boolean um, connector you want to get an answer set. So we start off by choosing a database, and uh, I used the uh, UWO website, and it gave me a listing of uh, nursing databases. And as you can see, I selected number three, uh, CINAHL, the Comprehensive Index of Nursing and Allied Health Literature, I believe, is what it, is what it stands for. And notice that if you click the little eye icon um, in the catalog, it will give you a description of the database, which will give you some idea of what, uh, of what you're uh, searching when you search that database. This is very useful when you are trying to select an appropriate database for the kind of thing that you want. I go into my database and I conduct three searches, and you can see the searches listed down there as S1, S2, or S3. I entered them using the syntax that you see up at the top in the search box, disorder or disorders. So as you can see, I've taken each of the concepts, linked them with OR, and we have three sets of results. You can see that they're very large too. Uh, if you look at the view results column in the actions section, uh, you find that uh, child or children gives you over 264,000, genetic or gene or genes gives you 57,000, and disorder or disorders 
gives you 178,139. So there's a lot there. I'm now going to click the searches that I want, and then I am going to select the box which says search with and. And that will then give me all of those documents which contain uh, something from all of those sets. You can see the result in S4, uh, which is set 4. If I take um, all of those documents which uh, um, mention um, child, children or child or, or, or uh, and genetic or gene or genes and disorder or disorders, I find that I now have 2,407. So I've used the building blocks approach to get as much recall as I can on each of those concepts and then combine them together using the Boolean operator AND. Now, 2,400 is still pretty large, so what I might decide to do is limit that further. And what I do, I'm straying into the next uh, method, which is the successive facets approach. The idea here is that you start off with one or two terms and combine them, see what you've got, and then ease another concept in afterwards. This is very useful if you try the building blocks approach and you come up with zero. Then you think, okay, uh, I didn't get anything here. Where is my problem? Start with one, see what you get. Combine it with another, see what you get. And combine it with another and see what you get. It's also very useful if you decide that you want to refine a search as we're going to do here. So essentially what you do is you take certain number of concepts, combine them into an interim set, and then phase in another concept as you, as you see fit. So here, what we decided to do is say, okay, we've got 2,400 um, articles in this set. Let's limit the concept of care to the idea of feed or feeding. So we're going to start just with the idea of how to care for genet people with genetic, genetic disorders, particularly around the issues of feeding them. So I perform another search on feed or feeding, and I get 21,000 results. I then combine S4 and S5, and that's got me 45. So that's an example of using the successive facets approach to further refine a search that I've already made.